When removing your bandage 24 to 72 hours after Mohs surgery that you have had on your nose, you will have a large pressure bandage. If there's been any bleeding or crust underneath, sometimes your bandage can become adherent. Gently moisten the bandage with water to loosen the bandage. Then gather all of your supplies, gloves if desired, soap and water as well as gauze to clean the incision, Q-tips to apply your ointment such as Vaseline or Aquaphor, a non-stick dressing, clean scissors, and tape. Once your supplies have been gathered, wash your hands diligently with soap and water. Then remove the bandage. Work from the outside edges of the tape, removing the adhesive parts to the edges of your incision site. For demonstration purposes, our incision has been marked with a pen. After removing the bandage, then gently wash the incision line with soap and water. Be very gentle. If there is scabbing or crusting, do not pull or pick at this, but gently wash it off, soaking it with the water. If it, you are not able to remove it, leave it in place. The Vaseline that you apply next will slowly dissolve the crusting and scabbing and it will come off potentially with your next successive bandage changes. Next, apply the Vaseline with a Q-tip, not with your finger. Make sure that you are using new Vaseline or Aquaphor. Apply it along the length of the incision, covering not only the incision but also all sutures involved. Next, cut your non-stick bandage to fit the incision site. Usually you want this at least one centimeter in width. Both sides of the non-stick dressing are the same, so there is not a right or a wrong side to apply to the incision line. You will notice that we do not touch the incision line with our fingers so as to decrease the risk of it introducing any infection. Once the non-stick bandage has been applied and is totally covering all incision lines and sutures, then apply tape. When applying to the nose, the distal nose is made of cartilage and is very mobile. Do not pull or twist on that as you are doing the taping. Start with the stationary portion of the nose. Apply tape to one side, make that adherent, then pull across the non-stick and down onto the other side. By making sure that one side is stuck before draping it over, you will be able to better address the concavities and convexities or the bumps and grooves of the nose. You will notice that once you get the main stationary piece of tape, the others can be kind of draped and pulled just to cover all the nonstick areas so that it is completely occluded, air not getting to the incision site. This dressing will remain in place for 24 hours. After that time period, you will remove this dressing and repeat these instructions to apply another daily bandage.